My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com. Share the latest Tim Black, H.A. Goodman, no sellouts. That is below. It is epic. I have a Huffington Post article out. It is below. It is how the Young Turks helped elect Trump. It's doing very well. And I want to just thank everybody. I want to thank everybody for your support, the love, the kindness that you've given Tim, Nico, and, and me. Obama warned Trump about hiring Flynn, officials say. This is the New York Times. President Barack Obama warned Donald J. Trump against hiring Michael T. Flynn to be part of his national security team when Mr. Obama met with his successor in the Oval Office two days after the November election, two former Obama officials said on Monday. President Obama never warned Trump of anything. Number one, and neither did Sally Yates. Number one, why would uh, Yates or President Obama warn President Trump of potentially what could be a gigantic political liability? Why would that take place if their goal in life is to delegitimize and undermine Trump's presidency? That's number one. Number two, President Obama hired Michael Flynn as the head of his defense intelligence agency. President Obama's administration gave Flynn security clearances. Sally Yates, first of all, gave no evidence to Congress and stated, oh, well, if, um, if I gave you the evidence, well, it's classified. I can't give you the evidence. So there's something called evidence that we need. The American people, when they hear an accusation, especially treason or uh, being compromised by Russia, you need to have some kind of evidence. The NSA is only moderately confident. James Clapper already lied again. All he does is lie to Congress. He lied. WikiLeaks called him out. DC Leaks did disclose uh, damning information uh, regarding regarding the Republican Party. So you can't. The, the entire narrative is completely crumbling. Instead of focusing on draft Bernie for the People's Party, or Nina Turner, Tulsi Gabbard, Bernie Sanders 2020, or breaking up too big to fail banks, or banning fracking, or reinstating Glass-Steagall, or um, single-payer health care, instead of focusing on those bold, progressive ideals that could actually undermine Trump, what they're doing is they're painting a ridiculous, stupid Russian hacking narrative that nobody gives a crap about. Nobody cares. So don't say that, and, and Michael Flynn was already cleared by the FBI. They investigated Flynn, Manafort, everybody associated with Trump. He didn't do anything wrong. You want to talk about a Russian agent? The Podesta group had to sign up as a Russian agent because they helped sell, they helped, helped approve, they, they lobbied on behalf of Russia to approve, uh, to, to get Clinton and President Obama to approve the sale of uranium to the Kremlin. Could you imagine? If Trump sold uranium to the Kremlin, give me your thoughts below. President Obama didn't warn Trump of Flynn. It's utter nonsense. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.